everybody, welcome to Game Time. My name is JJ and welcome to another episode of Classic Video Game Pickups. And I want to thank everybody who came to the Video Game Swap yesterday, first off. It was a great experience for a starter event and I'm going to use all the feedback and everything from that event and make the next ones even better and better and better. So thank you for all the wonderful support and thanks for coming out to trade and sell games and have a good time talking about games. So let's get to the games. Uh, a good little score in the last little bit. You know, I picked up some stuff at the video game swap and I also picked up some other stuff elsewhere. But uh, it's a decent little box, a little smorgasbord of classic gaming all over the place. So first off, I got a awesome little donation of a Gen 2, uh, Genesis 2. Nice. I was happy to get it because I like having extra controllers and extra RF switches and stuff like that because these ones only take the weird little pronged ones, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Ugh. I was very happy about that, so thank you very, very much. I got Echo the Dolphin for Sega Genesis. I already have it, unfortunately, but it's nice to have an extra one, you know what I mean? I could probably trade it. Uh, what else do I got? I picked up some Game Boy games. Uh, <laughs> it sounds a little corny, but I got My Little Pony, Princess something. I've got Snood. I don't know what Snood is. I'm going to have to try it out. <laughs> what else do I got here? I got Monster Jam. Nothing wrong with a little 4x4 Monster Truck Madness going on on the DS. I'll take it. I got Dragon Ball Origins. I actually never played it. I played the Legacy of Goku games for Game Boy Advance, but I haven't played Dragon Ball Origins. Looks like it's original Dragon Ball, not Dragon Ball Z. So, uh, we've got Rayman Raving Rabbits. I haven't played it actually, so I played the ones on the Wii and on the GameCube. Those are the ones that I played. Oh, I got one more. I picked up another GBA game that came in this little case here, and it is F Zero for the Game Boy Advance. Can't go wrong with that. I like F Zero. I'm actually looking for the one for the GameCube. I like F Zero on the GameCube. I uh, picked up some DS games as well. We got uh, Nintendo Dogs. Nothing too crazy, but we got Nintendo Dogs. We got Diddy Kong Racing DS. I like this game. I played a lot of Diddy Kong Racing on the N64. I was very happy to pick that one up. I got Crash Mind Over Mutant for DS. Never played it. So I like Crash Bandicoot. I got Ultimate Spider-Man. I like the PS2 version. Let's see how the DS version holds up, you know. Uh, I got Big Brain Academy. I have Big uh, Brain Age 1 and 2. I didn't have this one actually. I played it. I played it a lot, but I've got Tony Hill Downhill Jam. I've got the PS2 version. Like I said, we'll compare and see how uh, how, how those turn out. Uh, a couple Genesis games. I should have mentioned those earlier. I got NBA Live '96. It's one of the one of the few Genesis sports games I have actually played. I don't play too many. And another copy of uh, Sonic 2 for the Genesis, but not the resale version. Nothing very spectacular. They know that sticker doesn't mean a whole whole lot. Yeah, you see them very often. Uh, a Super Nintendo Power Adapter. I was always. I'm always happy to get extra ones of these because I, sometimes I get more systems than I do get power adapters and they have a weird prong you know it's not like a Nintendo where you can plug in like almost anything into a Nintendo and it'll turn on but uh, these ones have the special little adapter there and it's hard to really find another one if you lose yours. Uh, Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops a little dirty but it needs to be clean I'm gonna have to try that out. Uh, what else do I got? Uh, picked up Halo 4 I know it's not really much of a classic game, but I got Halo 4. It's one of the few 360 games that I actually picked up. Uh, Sonic Mega Collection for the GameCube. I think I already have this. I'll have to check. Uh, I got the Halo 3 Special Edition in the little tin. And I got Beauty in the Beast for the Genesis. Another little filler for the collection there. It's hard to find them with books. Most of the time, uh, Genesis games, I've noticed that you don't get the book with the... It's not uh, it's not people's fault. It's just the way it, the way it is. Uh, the other 360 game I got was the original prototype. Can't go wrong. Oh, that's right. I picked up Final Fantasy XII Revenant Wings. I forgot to put that in there. It's like ah, woo, another game. <laughs> so yeah, I haven't I've played it before, but I uh, I didn't have a physical copy. So let's take that out of there so I don't forget it in there again. Uh, we've got Darkened Sky for the GameCube, can't go wrong. We've got Halo Combat Evolved, Game of the Year, nice shiny edition. I like shiny things. Uh, and a few more games, and that's it, guys, that's it. Uh, Kingdom Under Fire Heroes for the original Xbox. And last but not least, we've got World Heroes for the Sega Genesis. And uh, this one, 
has <laughs> a little instruction card there, a little registry card. doesn't have the booklet, like I was saying before. And we've got Double Dragon 5, which is a good one for the collection. Can't go wrong with that. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed this episode of Classic Gaming Pickups. I'm going to try out some of these games. There's a few of them I really want to try out uh, right away. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Peace out and happy gaming. Ciao.